All right, man, sorry, so taking, or it's taking me so long to get you this video, but uh, this thing that I wanted to show you, it's, it's really simple for doing some little clean picking pieces, um, and it can go over any, any chord you can think of, and you just have to move the shape. So you got like your G, C. So what you do is, let's say you're playing in the key of, um, uh, G slash G sharp. So let's say you're playing in D, okay? Just, I'm using that as an example. You would bar, or first you would find your D note on your G string, the, the third one down. Yeah, that's right, your G string. So, D note. We'll do D. That's right here. So you bar from that D note on the G string all the way down. So, and then you can use your ring finger or your pinky finger and go down three frets and just bar the bottom two strings. So you get this. And that's your first shape you need to learn. Is this pointer finger goes on the note on the G string and then you bar down. And then use your pinky and go three frets and bar your B and E string. So and then that's your first shape. Your second shape is your pinky goes only on the bottom and your ring finger goes on your B string, but right there. Alright, simple enough. Your third shape, you take your pointer finger, slide down to here, and put this, you basically wanna hit your B string, the fret over, so. And that's pretty much it. So the way this works is, you have what's called the Nashville number system. So let's say your G chord is gonna be your one. So G is one, A, which is next, becomes two, B is three, and you basically go in the order of, you know, the chords. So it would be G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. There's seven chords. Um, so coming back here to this, that first shape I showed you is your number one shape. It's also your number three shape. This one, the second one I showed you, is your number two and four. Oh, that one's one, three, and six. So you got one, three, and six is all this shape here. Two, three, and four. Five and seven. Simple as that. And you can just pick it however you want. So let's say you're doing a... Um, a one, four, three, seven. Okay, so you got your one, four, three, your seven. But like I said, you can pick it. You can do it however you want, but it's that simple. Simple as that, man. Um, and like I said, if you're playing in, in D, that would be down here. Um, so if you want to play in, let's say C, it'd be right here. Same chords. B.
measure A. And it, it doesn't have sharps or anything counting it, so it'd be, you know, A, whenever you're counting your one through seven, there's no sharps, it's just whole notes. So there's your A, if you're playing in B for some reason. There's your C, D, and it works for your sharp. So if you're playing a song in C sharp, or D minor, whatever you want to call it. And plain and simple, that's it. Let me know what you think.